today we are going to upgrade our HR54 DVR. Now, of course, I have to cover my... So today's video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the HR54. This is the unit, and it has a hard drive here with a heatsink. It does have a fan in the back, so you're going to have to first pull out, pull these levels in. You can use a flat screwdriver or a paper clip. So I'm going to pry these open. I'm going to skip this part, but essentially you're going to pry it open. Keeping in mind that the cover comes out. Now, of course, you're going to void your warranty if you do this, so make sure that you own your receiver. And you're going to want to save the old hard drive. Now, the new hard drive that we're using is called is a uh, 8 terabyte Toshiba network attached storage drive. This is for 24 7 operation and it's uh, 8 terabytes. So now that we've got the tab off, we're going to pull the dark TV cover straight up. Now you'll see inside here that I already have the old hard drive. I did try to use a 10 terabyte hard drive, it did not work. So make sure that you test it before you plug it in. Um, also note that this hard drive did not have a third screw right here. So hence I had to use the zip tie. So I'm going to cut that and remove it. Now in order for me to... Well, the new hard drive actually does have three screws. One, two, and three. So I'm going to open this. Of course, when you open it, you avoid your warranty. And you're going to need a T10 security bit, security cross bit, to take out the hard drive screws. Uh, in this particular case, there's two on the side. Actually, there's three, but this hard drive had no extra screws. And this hard drive had no extra screw holes. So, this, this heatsink is pretty loose. You'll notice also that the heatsink has some thermal paste on here, so make sure you don't get that too dirty because it's what causes the uh, adhesion and the disbursement of hot from the hard drive. Okay, now the bottom has additional two screws here. Um, this particular one only had one just because, again, the hard drive uh, was not standard. So now we have the hard drive screws off. We're going to go ahead and take the hard drive up. We're going to unplug the SATA data cable and the power cable. So you'll see that this hard drive only has two. This hard drive has three. Now you'll notice that there is a little bit of a, it feels like a double-sided tape, but I think it's a thermal paste so that the hard drive uh, can be absorbed. Okay, so align it properly. And you are going to make sure that you put in the heat sink. So we're going to screw it in. Now, if you want to save your data, then there are tools that you can use to clone your data. You got to keep in mind that you may not get the full capacity. So when the Dark TV starts up, it's going to format the new hard drive. Okay, and this goes into the hard drive hole. 
sure that the heat sink is solid. Now it does look like there are little tabs on the heat sink so just keep that in mind. So you want to make sure that it's secure against the hard drive. You also want to make sure that there's enough clearance so that when you shut the case it's not going to be affected by the heat sink fins. And then the bottom part is right here. I am missing a screw. So one thing you want to be careful of is that this bottom part of the screw is actually missing a hole compared to the original hard drive. So I uh, make sure that the hard drive is secure. So again, the first one is missing this one, this, and the other ones are missing the other. Put the hard drive back in, we have secured the heatsink, and we're ready to put the cover on. Make sure you put it on the right way. sure you align it and it locks in place. So now we're ready to power it up and it's going to format the new hard drive. So you can see that the hard drive is down, the satellite is connected and the hard drive was working. It's downloading new software. I'll let this complete. So basically the hard drive is installed. There's no error messages. So you can sit back and relax and enjoy your new space.